Welcome back everyone. We have got the medium honey badger to talk about today. So this was loaned in from my buddy Will uh, who lives local to me, sent this in after he saw my video of the small honey badger. So uh, I figured we would talk about the medium and there is a large, I actually thought that this was the um, medium maybe and then this would have been the large and then a smaller one. But this is the small, this is the medium, and the large is a little bit larger. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so let's just talk about the specs on this guy. It's four and an eighth closed, seven and five sixteenths overall, 3.26 inch blade, 3.124 cutting edge. This one is out of uh, D2. This is a special edition one with no choil. The blade thickness is 0.132 with an overall thickness of about four, uh, 0.488. It does kind of taper a little bit in the swell here. It kind of ex you know swells up and then kind of goes back down under the clip. And that's without the clip and it runs on bearings. Really nice, a um, stone wash blade. This is from the Nut and Fancy Project. So these are a limited run, and uh, I really like the stone wash and the white kind of stormtrooper motif. Kind of works well for me. Uh, same FRN type of um, scales, but really overall, this thing these are really just super cool knives. And I may need to get, uh, I need to order a medium and a large for myself. Maybe this same color and just get three that are the same. I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to need to check out the large now because this size is almost there. I mean, this could be kind of a daily carry. It's really well done. And I love the fact that they've really chamfered the thumb hole. Like it's chamfered on both sides very nicely, both on this medium and the small. And that's something that, you know, this is like a 40, 50, $60 knife, depending on what you choose for the blade style and whatnot. So for 40, 50 bucks, they've got bearings. They've got um, a really nice chamfered thumb hole. You really can't go wrong, right? And I'll put a link down below to the video I did on the small one also, so you can check that out. But I have seen like another one that's very disappointing, the Strider uh, 0.75 AR. It came in literally a plastic bubble wrap. That was it. No packaging, no nothing. And the thumb hole was literally just lasered out water jetted out and that was it there was no chamfering there was no nothing it was the most uncomfortable thumb hole i had ever seen um i would have sent it back and just been like yeah i just want my money back if it had been mine uh or because i didn't love the rest of it anyway if i had loved the rest of that strider knife i could have gone in here and tried to chamfer that out myself or at least smooth out those edges but that's a 600 hundred dollar knife and they totally screwed up the thumb hole. This is a 40, 50, 30, 40, 50 dollar knife, and they did perfect on the thumb hole. I, I just don't, I don't understand. I mean, am I asking for too much when I want things to just work and be user friendly? Is that too much to ask? And this comes with a nice packaging. Little zipper case. Now, Honey Badger does some other models, as you can see here. They have different blade shapes, different sizes. I mean, they do some cool stuff. So, I yeah, I mean, they've got like a little hook bladed, you know. So they've got cool stuff. They've got cool packaging, and they're under 100 bucks, depending. And to me, that's just very cool. How come more higher-end knives come in crappier packaging with crappier fit and finish, in my opinion? I don't know. I, you know, hey, I just show you. 
I can't decide what they do or what they do not do. But very cool knife. A couple of differences between the two is the uh, lack of a finger choil, the upgraded steel, the D2 versus the 8CR13. I like the black storm, black and white stormtrooper look. Very cool knives all together. So, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with a honey badger. I just, I, I don't think you can. So let's do a couple size comparisons. Sharpie. Delica. About the same size. A little bit longer than the Delica. How about the Quiet Carry Waypoint? And last but not least, how about the Benchmade 940? Just a hair shorter, but it actually fits your hand. The, the scales fit your hand much better on the Honey Badger than on the 940. It just gives you a little more thickness here or height, if you will, to really grab onto, and I think it makes a lot of difference. I mean, it really makes a big difference in my opinion. So there you go, guys, the medium honey badger. Thanks, Will, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I will get this sent back out shortly because I need to still do the uh, video on your Grimsmo Brothers not, uh, pen. Such an awesome pen. That I'm gonna have trouble sending back, but shh. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I do greatly appreciate your time. And uh, we will see you tomorrow on the next video.